shocking C-suite exit and a mega merger ceasing fire, allowing to stop it. You've got to stop that. You're freaking me out with that bird. Allowing CBS to turn its side of the future. Guess who's here on set? If you were watching Countdown last week, you would have known all the details because Charlie Casperino was breaking them all on this show. He's back with the bird. Hi, Cheryl. Oh, God. You. Hi. How's it going, Charlie? Some people think I'm high. It's not just Musk. It's me smoking, like, doing, doing recreational marijuana on the side. Um, all right, you, you were all over this. I got to compliment you. I watched you. you over the weekend on the news channel. You rocked it on the right. Moonbez News. You had everything. And particularly, so and particularly the compensation package, because I think that's what's key here. And by the way, they, <coughs> excuse me, they finalized it. If you go onto the SEC website, you can get the 8K, which kind of lays out the, the details. And it's, it's basically what we reported yesterday, and it's fascinating. Les Moonves can get up to $120 million in cash. Oh okay, not the $100, $100 million in stock that CNBC said. He can get it contingent. Again, this is not what anybody else reported. We were first to report this. Contingent on the outcome of the investigation into his alleged sexual mm. misconduct. If the investigation finds out he really did those bad things, he can get anywhere from a lot less than 120 mm. to zero. They don't really specify. I understand. I know. In that they may, they may <laughs> throw him a few bucks. If they, if they exonerate him, well, he gets the money, he gets a driver, he gets security, and he becomes an advisor for two years. Uh, now you have to, and now if you're, you're game planning this, I mean, you would have to think, given Ronan Farrell's reporting, uh, that they're, they're, the board is under considerable pressure not to give them that much of that. Uh, I would say this, though. Here's the other thing that's really interesting. And the reason why I was able to break this story, just so you know, is because I spoke with a board member of a company. And I asked him, I go, what do you think about it? what's going through the board's mind as they're trying to figure this out with Moonves? And he said if he were on the board, he would stiff Moon Moonves, meaning don't give him anything. Let him sue you for the money mm -hmm. or bring, that was, it, yeah, that was bring, my it, bring it to yeah. arbitration. Because if yeah. you do cut him that check, for, and he was dubious on the $100 million being guaranteed, the numbers, the numbers that CNBC had, because if you do cut the check, uh, you're going to open yourself up to tremendous lawsuits. So if you don't cut him the check, guess what happens? The lawsuits might go away. And on top of that, if he wants to sue you and he wins an arbitration, you're kind of cleared because it's an arbitrator that, that, that essentially made the deal, not the board of directors. And that is essentially, that's why I was able to ask the question. It just stuck in my mind, and we were able to bird dog this over the weekend and, and nail it. So mm. uh, that's one story. The other story, obviously, I'm going to be real quick, is CBS, who they're going to sell to. As we reported last week, there's yeah. a standstill agreement. It's Sherry Redstone, controlling company, uh, cannot yeah. force a merger. Between Viacom and CBS, I mean, CBS will, will try to sell itself. Okay. Now we should go Interesting. through. Interesting. You've got something else really quick. Well, so totally different. The FT broke a story today about Wall Street firms meeting with the Chinese government, essentially to the Chinese government called for this meeting as a way to Sense. basically go around Donald Trump and try to get these Wall Street firms essentially to uh, become cheerleaders and maybe stop the Trump administration. To, uh, to enacting a, a trade war. Now, why does, why does it, you focus on Wall Street? They all have huge business over there, yeah. including Blackstone, Steve Schwartzman. As does Apple, as does everybody. But. Now, here's what we, we, we know. We un yeah. we, from we understand, this is going to be the first, I think it's on September 16th, will be the first of several meetings with, cover with, these, with these group of Wall Street firms, Blackstone, J.P. Morgan, you name it, the top firms, sure. and Chinese government officials. Jamie Dimon will not be at this meeting. That's the CEO of J.P. Morgan Chase. J.P. Morgan Chase is the largest U.S. banks. I understand he has a schedule conflict, uh, you know, and they're going to send two other uh, senior executives. But if I know Jamie, he understands the optics of this. Trump is going to go yeah. nuts on this. A lot of breaking news and the bird have made an appearance once again on Countdown to the Closing Bell. I thought this was some kind of like Les Moonves thing, but it was just to freak me out. But I did appreciate that. Well, you know, <laughs> don't smoke a joint. <laughs>